couple words about premature babies. Premature babies are born at all sorts of different ages and stages, so of course you can't generalize when it comes to how to take care of them. But I can talk a little bit about my own experience having had a preemie baby who was born at 30 weeks of gestation and who is now 35 weeks in terms of gestation at five weeks old. With a preemie this age, I would consider the feeding to be kind of a breastfeeding, pumping combo. Many mothers supplement with formula also. So while you do want to try to get your preemie baby as much breast milk as you can, you should not feel guilty if you do give your baby formula. Bracey, by the way, has had a booster put in his feeding tube, which is supplying him with extra vitamins and nutrients. Bracey follows an every three hour feeding schedule. So he eats, for example, every day at 12, three, six, nine, and it goes on for three hours. If I'm there, the nurses give him to me to try to nurse him at that time. And if I'm not there, he gets the milk through a feeding tube, although the nurses have started to give him bottles during the night. And some of these he's been able to finish completely. Some of them he's only been able to eat half of the bottle before he gets too tired out. And in that event, they give him half the milk through the bottle and the other half through the feeding tube, which is still going in through his nose. It goes in right here and then it goes to his stomach. Over the past couple of days, I've had a couple successful feeding sessions. I've been able to get Bracey to latch on and then he eats, you know, sometimes for as long as half an hour, sometimes for as long as an hour. It's hard to tell how much he's eating and how much he's just like sucking on the breast. I do hear sometimes the milk going down his throat and I see his little jaw, you know, moving and working. So I do think he's getting quite a bit of breast milk through these nursing sessions. Once I'm finished feeding him, when it's clear that he's not sucking any longer, I start to pump. And I think that's helpful because of course these feedings, as might be happening with a full-term baby, are only happening on one breast. So that way I'm stimulating also the other breasts to continue to produce the milk. If the feeding was really, really long and it seems like he's satiated and he ate quite a bit, the nurses are not giving him any more milk. If the feeding is short, they're then giving him either 20 or 30 milliliters. He's currently getting between around 40 and 50 milliliters so that we can make sure that he gets a full feed. So in essence, I'm just trying to keep my personal feeding station available to the little guy and it's sort of touch and go and you know, every day has been a little different, but we're getting stronger and stronger. And once Bracey gets to the point where he can take all of his feedings, either through the breast or through the bottle, we're gonna be able to go home.